Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time on a different format using my phone. Hoping that I can get this chapter posted because it's very aggravating. All right, chapter 11, going for the gold. When I registered for the Northeast Championships at Jackman, I was misty-eyed. This would be my final race in the junior division. You can't run with the big dogs if you're still peeing with the puppies. That's what experienced mushers say. I was no longer a puppy. My records show that I was an outstanding junior musher with a strong team. I was moving up to the pro division. I could have stayed longer in the junior division, but I wanted to move up quietly to stand in the background and run my team. I wanted to see who was out there, see what the competition looked like, see all the dogs and racers, size up their attitudes, their taste for blood, so to speak. I'll miss the juniors, I told my mom, but I'll always be there to help my young friends like Lexi bring their teams to the line and give them helpful advice. Watching my friends already racing in the pro division, I knew I had a lot to learn for the next season. All year long, I had worked hard preparing for this final competition at Jackman. My plan was to fly across that trail as fast as my, my dogs could go, to blow by the competition so quickly they wouldn't even recognize who we were. I had sent out last I was sent out last to avoid any charges of favoritism. I'd have to pass five kids, but that didn't worry me. I was psyched for my last runs as a junior musher, my last chance in the season to run for Virgil, my last try to run faster than any other competitor. On Friday morning, I stepped on the runners, grabbed the driving bow, and waited for the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Hike, I yelled and ducked low in a frozen lunge. Swoosh, we were out of the starting chute in pursuit of those who had left before me. My mom told me what happened after that. She said the spectators wandered around, visiting with one another as they waited for us mushers to return. When it seemed time for us to be getting back, they gathered at the finish line. Word came back from the trail crew that three teams had crossed the bridge. At the one mile marker, they named the mushers. Mom, Poppy, and Mom's friend Chris listened for my name. I was not one of them. What had happened to me? Mom started to freak. Poppy hung his head low. They needed not have worried. One by one, I had passed the other teams. I had blown by the trail crew so fast, they didn't even realize I was a kid driver. About four minutes later, Chris reported a rogue team, a team without a driver, barreling out of the woods, headed for the finish line. I was bent down on wooden resistance, so he couldn't see me. Just then, I stood up, hung on with one hand, and waved with the other. Mom screamed, That's Ash! My team was running at full throttle. Folks jumped up and down, screaming as we crossed the line. My dogs were unharnessed and relaxing when the next team came in. Lily's team. The four-dog sportsman race had started, and I was sent out about 15 minutes after finishing the three-dog junior. Poppy, who had Clipper, one of my pups on his team, had already gone out. When I caught up with him, Clipper saw me and jumped into my basket. We dropped our snow hooks, stopped our sleds, and tried to get her out. She wouldn't budge. Finally, Poppy yanked her out of my sled, and my sled tipped. The snow hooked popped, and my team took off without me. After I charged after my dogs, Poppy caught up with me and pushed me into his basket. Eventually, we overtook my dogs, and I jumped back onto the runners and continued my race. I came in fifth. I was sent out first on Saturday in the Three Dog Junior. Lily never caught me, and I took first. I jumped for joy. Chris brought champagne for the adults and sparkling cider for us kids to celebrate. On Saturday afternoon, Chris and I signed up for the Yukon race. It's a fast, fun run for a driver and four dogs. I was the only kid who tried it. You run from the starting line back to the truck, harness your dogs, line them up, release them, and race into the woods on a two and a half mile trail. The first one back to the finish line wins. Skittles and Steel were my lead dogs with Rev and Banshee in wheel positions. About a mile into the race, Banshee quit on me. I had to put her into the bag I carry in the basket on my sled in case a dog gets injured. She kept warming her way out of the bag and trying to jump out of the basket. When I stopped to bag her again, the other dogs felt the brake being released. Wham! They took off, throwing me and Banshee off the runners. I grabbed the dog in my arms and chased after my team. I couldn't catch them. Mom said people were worried sick about what was going on when I didn't come back. Three friends on snowmobiles went looking for me. When my team came out of the woods without me, Alex caught them and then charged into the woods to find me. 
I heard snowmobiles. A kid I never met picked me up and Banshee and carried us back to the finish line. I came in last, but I was happy I had participated. In the four dog sportsman on Sunday, my dog Ashley was too tired to run. Um, before she collapsed, I put her in the basket and fastened her with a neckline. The three boys I finished, the three boys and I finished seventh with one tired dog along for the ride. All in all, it was a great weekend. When it ended, I hoped I had accumulated enough points for the season to move from bronze medalist to silver medalist in the ISDRA. Mom, Poppy, Chris, and I returned from Drakman thrilled with the outcome of the weekend's accomplishments. It was hard to settle down Sunday night after such a busy weekend. Reality set in fast on Monday when we learned Virgil had cancer and it had eaten away the bone inside his nose. He was in surgery by late afternoon on Monday and kept in the animal hospital overnight. The vet felt she had gotten it all, and we hoped she was right about that, but Virgil's future looked grim. Three days after the Northeast Championships, the ISDRA announced the junior medalist. I had missed the silver by 20 points. All right, that's chapter 11. Let's see if I can actually post it. Bye!